You might ask yourself why we needed a remake of The Little Mermaid, and if you do, you're already on the wrong side of history. Please ignore the horrible VFX, Flounder's creepy CGI, bland reimaginings of classic songs, a bloated runtime, and the phoned-in performances. We have a modern update to get to, and if life has taught me anything, it's that representation matters more than quality. I don't know where I'd be today if my favorite character didn't look like me when I was growing up. If you have something negative to say about the film, that's totally fine and you're entitled to your opinion. Just be aware that you're a piece of shit. I don't know why adults have an opinion on a movie aimed at children anyway. It's actually really sad. Wait, what's that? You're an adult that loved it. Oh, you can talk about it now. That's totally cool. You might be feeling some sort of way about Hollywood, and specifically Disney, recycling older classics and race-swapping characters for easy money and ESG scores in underdeveloped trash remakes. And maybe you even think what's best for representation is if new characters were created for films that were actually good. But you're missing the point. Recycling and diversity hiring is way easier, and we know that taking the easy route is far better for society and much more rewarding overall. If the easy way wasn't taken, we wouldn't have gotten this visually ugly bloat fest of pandering representation, which is far, far more important than being represented in an original quality production. Again, if you don't agree, that's fine, but you just sound like some old-timey bigot. I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. The story follows Ariel, a mermaid who's fascinated with the human world above the ocean, and longs to experience what's forbidden by her father, King Triton. Arguments about the movie being watered down and sanitized to eliminate any modern-day problematic wrongthink make it seem like that's a bad thing. I think it's great that movie studios don't trust an audience to understand any semblance of nuance and make sure to spoon-feed us the safest thing possible, eliminating any element of character, articulate thought, or interesting conversation. Take, for example, the song Poor Unfortunate Souls during the scene where Ursula offers Ariel a chance to become human. The concept of true love has been completely wiped from the lyrics, because true love is an old-fashioned train of thought. We must uphold the idea of the modern woman by any means necessary, following in the footsteps of the recent Peter Pan and Wendy remake, where Wendy's happy thoughts were a childless, loveless life where she dies old and alone, because that's strong and independent of her. The song also eliminates lyrics where Ursula talks about an overweight woman desiring to be thinner, because it's 2023 and being healthy is a path to the alt-right pipeline. Thank God they got rid of that one. The visual effects might be distractingly terrible, but that's only if you've ever seen any other movie before. Sure, you might not be able to see anything for most of the underwater scenes, which make up more than half the movie, but that's because Disney is secretly upset they didn't hire Zack Snyder to direct their major MCU films and decided to copy his style. Nothing says family-friendly like dreary darkness and muted color palettes. For whatever reason, people keep judging Flounder as being incredibly creepy because Disney decided to do realism. One might say that it's a strange decision to go the realistic route with the animal characters while nothing else in the film looks real whatsoever, but that's just crazy talk. I personally love the fact that Flounder isn't cute at all. And they even gave him a realistic character arc. Do you know where my dad is? He ended up dying, actually. He did some pills and drove into an embankment. But he, when I was young, he would shit in his yard make me bury it. And sure, some things don't translate well from animation to live action, and that's okay. Disney will do it anyway. It's not like the mermaids look like complete shit and absolutely ridiculous. No, I did not laugh out loud during inappropriate times when the film was trying to be dramatic. That was just my entire theater. Halle Bailey stars in the film as Ariel, and I've been told she's the next big star. And no, no one's holding me hostage to make me say that. They're holding my dog. She's a serviceable singer, and I thought that was all she was hired for. But I've been informed by multiple sources that no one's allowed to criticize her acting chops because of her extensive filmography that proves her quality, with all two films she's been in at the age of 6 and 12. Silly me for thinking she's really a singer and not an actor, just because she constantly looked like she didn't understand what her character was supposed to be feeling throughout the film. I thought she just looked happy to be there, but I've been set straight and now I know she's definitely a rising star, no matter how hard Hollywood needs to shove it down our throats. Javier Bardem, one of the greatest actors of the past 20 years, might have phoned in his performance, but Lil Wayne once recorded a rap song over a prison phone call, so who are we to judge? Aquafina, a fitting name for a person playing a character hanging out in soon-to-be microplastic-filled water, might be a terrible addition to any film she's ever been in, but throw away any concerns that she'd rectify that here. 
The filmmakers brilliantly bring The Little Mermaid to the modern era with new song additions and styles, including a rap by Plastic Water herself. Here's a sample. Remember that swamp? Remember my song in the swamp? And I was like, wham, chicka, wham, wham, chicka, wham. That shit is a, a two-pack of ass. <laughs> The fuck are you talking about? That shit stinks! If you saw me in the theater, you might have thought I was cringing while this song was playing. And I was, but it wasn't because of how awful it is. I mean, it's not awful, it's wonderful. I was only cringing because someone farted next to me when they got up. Ooh! Tyrus! Did you just fart? One might suggest the smell of poop is the aromatic equivalent of this new song, but that would only be said by someone who's an actual piece of shit. Oh yeah, and Melissa McCarthy was in this movie too. <laughs> the Little Mermaid might be judged as an inferior remake of a superior original, but only by absolute monsters who can't understand how impactful and important this film will be for generations to come. Next year's Oscars will be fascinating to watch, when Little Mermaid not only wins every category, but occupies every nomination slot as well. Who will win Best Actress? Halle Bailey, Halle Bailey, Halle Bailey, Halle Bailey, or Halle Bailey? I can't wait to tune in and find out. If you think I'm wrong, I forgive you for hating yourself so much. It must be difficult being a Nazi. GG's.